okay, in this video we want to uh, test how confident we are in our estimate. Let's begin by um, creating a chart with price and a GLA and uh, plug in our subject property. Let's assume it's 2,000 square feet. So we know the price is going to fall somewhere in this range. We begin by uh, plotting our data that we have from our market. From that data we can um, estimate a um, linear regression line and for this um, sample we've done that and our linear regression line um, we see where it actually crosses our subject property right at that point and um, we can also look at the model equation of that line and it has been estimated at fifty thousand plus sixty dollars times the uh, GLA if we use that equation and plug in 2,000 uh, square feet, we end up with an estimate of 170,000 for the subject property. We also note when we uh, draw a line horizontally over to the price axis, we also note that it's 170,000. So uh, there's our model. Uh, let's uh, just look at the line and remove the actual data points. And um, we see that uh, what we have here. So the question is how much confidence do you have that $170,000 estimate? Well in order to test that we have to know what the stand standard error is. And in this data set we have calculated the standard error to be around $4,000. Uh, so if we think about our line there, the standard error if we were to actually draw a line uh, or an area around the, the um, regression line it would look something like this but that's only for one standard error plus or minus in order to calculate confidence we have to go to a t-table and find out how many standard errors we need to uh, calculate on either side of our line in order to get a confidence interval in this case uh, we go to a t-table and we uh, plug in the degrees of freedom and the confidence that we want to have and we find that the uh, value that we have to use is uh, 2.3 standard deviations uh, or 2.3 standard errors from either side of our our estimate. So we actually end up with a area that looks like this. Now in order to uh, um, estimate what our uh, subject property value is we would look at uh, both uh, the plus or minus of that value and uh, then translate it over to uh, the price axis and we see here that the uh, range would be plus or minus 2.3 times the standard error which is 4000 would give us a uh, plus or minus of 9200 so we take that uh, we take our 170 value and we add and subtract that uh, uh, estimate from uh, both sides of the mean and that would give us the range of 16800 to 179200 uh, that would uh, give us ultimately our confidence that we have in that estimate so instead of just uh, delivering a point estimate of 170000 we could also state that our we are 90% conf 95% confident that that value lies between 16800 and 179200 based on the data set from our market so that's uh, how we would answer the question on confidence